subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates. So these platform technologies have tremendous potential for future vaccines to be developed. They won't all succeed. I think we got really lucky, in fact, with SARS-CoV-2 in that both our prior knowledge of MERS as well as the virology, which where the spike protein was the key target, were things that came together to allow us to develop vaccines that quickly. So platform technologies will play a key role. How we sustain interest is by ensuring that we target diseases that are of local interest in the time when there is no pandemic or global concern. India, for example, has plenty of infectious diseases that are not seen in other parts of the world. And to use these platform technologies to develop vaccines for diseases that are of interest to us may be one way of ensuring that there is uh, an ability to sustain both the expertise as well as the manufacturing know-how and infrastructure. It's essentially referred to in um, the vaccine industry as keeping facilities warm by making sure that they continue to have projects to work on. One of the problems with amplifying vaccine manufacture around the world has been precisely the lack of people that were able to do technology transfers. And if we forget that lesson, then we will be in the same situation again once there is the next pandemic.